good morning. Ah, it's a bit fresh this morning, so I've got the door open, it's nice and cool in here. In, in a matter of fact it's fucking freezing, but it's actually a nice kind of cool, I don't know why, but I quite like the briskness in the morning, and I have the door open, I've got my coat on, I feel quite nice, you know what I mean? I'm, Walking in and out the gatehouse and checking on the vehicles that are going in and out the place, like you know, doing me 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 gatehouse a bit. Right now I'm just about to let a driver in. It's a car, so I haven't got to worry about them. But um, it's yeah, it's not really the most glamorous thing in the world. I mean, obviously there are different types of security guard work out there, because I obviously do interact with those people when I'm driving my truck. But um, for what I have to do, basically all I am is a gate opener and closer. That's all I am. That's it. Aye, aye, here comes a driver. Ah, uh, yes, if you don't mind. Um, you can pick one of the red ones there, look. So if I have that key, and I'm just going to go and set the key off. And all you got to do is just push it. So now there's that, right? I have uh, just given this chap here a, a god awful pin lock that he has to scroll underneath the uh, the trailer to hook it up and uh, press the button in. And I uh, guess what's underneath there, yes, it's full of fucking grease and shit. But, uh, hey. It's not something that I would have actually approved of myself. I'd have rather have had the Castell ones, which would have made life a lot easier. And when the very first trailer went missing and we started using them, we'd have still been using them to this day. And the second trailer wouldn't have gone. He's just bringing his glove back. Yeah, what is it? Thank you. Someone in the office. Uh, yes, you got uh, Clinton there. <coughs> so that's pretty much what it's all about. I mean, I've got my little board here. This is with all the, all the keys on. There, like so. And we're all me. And the keys for the locks. The thing that I don't get though is uh, once the once my job has ended in here and all that's all sorted out, I'm a bit uh, curious as how they're going to police these these pin locks at all. <sighs> but to be fair, if I really really put my mind to it, it's like I don't really give a shit. Well, yeah, I've got my uh, my laptop set up there, ready to uh, watch the old YouTube. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah. <coughs> I've got all my things all plugged in, ready to go, right? So I can just chill out, fill my head with all sorts of nonsense, and then you know, get on with my day. I also did bring with me. A uh, little toy. <laughs> now, this little toy is completely useless, right? And the reason why it's completely useless is because we don't broadcast analog anymore. I bought that off a of car boot. I think it cost me, uh, I think I paid a pound for it, right? And the beauty of this little gadget, this, what would it be, it's a two inch colour TV. It actually does work, 
I don't know if you can see if this video is picking that up. The green bar that's scrolling across, that's now trying to search for channels. But unfortunately, like I say, the UHF analog signal is no longer um, being uh, transmitted. Which is a shame, because I mean, it would have been quite fun to have that thing playing in the background, will not you know? Well, yeah, whatever, these things happen, it's got a brightness button, the brightness works, the tubes all working and all the rest of it, and you can, with the tune in here, you can change the direction of the tune signal and find a channel if there would, if there would be any channels. But unfortunately, like I say, it's, it, there's nothing for it to pick up, which is such a shame, because it's a perfectly good TV and it actually works, which is, it's a shame, isn't it, you know what I mean? I'd love to have that just propped up there like that and have a bit of fucking TV on it just for just for a laugh for five minutes, you know what I mean? Because I like quirky little shit like that, you know what I mean? I've still got your pig. Zoink. <coughs> but that's that's me uh, my truck mascot there. <laughs> oh dear. But that's that's pretty much all I'm doing is just you know that's it. Wait for a truck to either leave or come back and and there you go. I have done a bit of a uh, bit of titivating in here though for me for my own personal benefit. It's like for argument's sake the phone the uh, the cable <coughs> it used to come out of the phone and all of the way just to like hang off a hook on here and go down there which I didn't like and I thought well there's no way that's going to start like. and after about a week of staring at it all fucking knotted up around this hook that was in that hole there I decided that no I'm putting it down there so I drilled a hole for the board there the top of the desk and poked it through there hmm. it's like um with the extension lead that's that's draped along there I'm gonna I think I might have a play with that as well and uh, see if I can do something with it because it'll need I need to I want to tidy it up I know that it's gonna be a pointless exercise because eventually there won't be anybody in here but you know, I just want to do it yeah I like faffy once my mind starts on something, I have to faff with it until it's done, unfortunately. It'd be nice if I could faff with the, with the housework at home, that, that'd be great. I'd love that. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have a day when I just go, oh, I've got to tidy up, I'll do that. Somebody else is coming. Trailer 127. 127. One, two, much. Would you like some uh, some of this stuff? Oh no, I got uh, I got some of that in the lorry. Oh, have you? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll use that then too. Yeah. Because you never know, they might be caked in crap. <laughs> well, I do think about it, Do you know what I mean? It's, I do hand them a, a paper towel so they can literally hold the darn things without getting covered in bloody grease. Thumb bone, all you get. It's as if the, the tendon slips off the fucking track. Oh, that's just a pain in the arse, that is. Ooh. Come on, come back. There you go. Alright, so that's pretty much my life uh, at the moment inside the... Uh, Prison cell block H. <laughs> I remember uh, that because I was uh, on me, them video tapes. I've been transferring onto my computer. I've done five. I think I've done now five. Yeah, I think I've done five. Possibly six, but I think five I've done. And um, I can't wait to go through them once they're on my computer. Because obviously, when it's on the computer, you can skip to whatever you want and you can find. When you've been on a video, it's like fast forward. Oh, good grief. Does I really have to do all this shit? Fuck me, that's taking forever. Oh, God. So, you know, it'll be a lot, lot easier to navigate through it all. 
and pull out what I want to pull out, which is mainly the things like um, anything that's really interesting or the old adverts or maybe uh, some news reel that's on there from whatever year. The tape I did um, yesterday, I think that was still in the 90s. But the one that I put in last night just to check, it actually came up with a um, a date on it which was 2002. So, yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> but um, it's all the likes of the, 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 the news reels I think will be interesting to, to see what happened back then and what was what was relevant not that anything really made any difference to me anyway but uh, and some of the the um the mounds that people were doing back then and, yeah but uh, i will i will say this much though the adverts some of them are hilarious they really are but I, and here's another thing there are some of those adverts that i'll tell you what you know the There'll be a lot of people out there because obviously we, we are in the snowflake fucking era that they would literally give up in arms. Oh, you can't put that on! Oh no, little Johnny's gonna have his feelings hurt! Oh, for crying out loud. You know what I mean? Because we do have uh, that situation at the moment which I'm very looking forward to when that ends. <coughs> can't wait. <clears throat> but I'm watching some of these adverts and these me, I'm fucking pissing myself at that. And then obviously with the mindset of what the way that we are at the moment, you go, fucking hell, you know, that wouldn't be allowed no more, that wouldn't. Fucking hell, talk about fucking Darwin, you know what? Good grief. <coughs> or is it uh, Orwellian? That's the word, isn't it? Fucking hell. Good lord. So, uh, I'm having a good, I can't wait till I've, like I said, once I've got it all sorted and uh, I'm going to go through what I can go through, I am going to put these, these, uh, old clips onto uh, YouTube, it'll be, it'll be on my other channel and uh, I think it'll be hilarious, I really do. I mean if there's anybody out there who's interested in watching let's say around about 50 minutes worth of Good Morning Britain from 1990, trust me it is seriously cringeworthy, it's like oh did Really? Is that what we used to watch? And I remember fucking loving that show in the morning. I used to get up, do me thing. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, I loved it. Absolutely awesome. But now looking back at it, I'm thinking, wow, crap. This is this is just this is wrong. Hang on a minute. So, if anybody's interested in that, let me know because I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the other channel. You can you can watch uh, a very 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 young Dolph Lundgren being interviewed, and you can see um, a very very young uh, Ulrika, like I said the other day. So that's what that's on, and obviously all the bits and bobs are there. But it is seriously cringeworthy. Fuck me, it is unbelievable. Some of the films that I've recorded through the years, like off uh, Channel 5 and Central TV, because I've got them on there. But they, they don't exist now, I don't think, Central. What is it nowadays? Is it just on a TV, is it? Fuck no, I have no idea. <clears throat> um, I think there's some stuff from uh, Sky One as well I've managed to find on these videotapes that I've got from when I had that. <laughs> oh, it's getting interesting. It really is. It's getting interesting. Ooh. Well, that's it now. There's nothing else to tell you. Just the usual. The usual. 
can't make it now, more exciting than that. Unfortunately. And if I've got anything exciting to tell you uh, tomorrow or Friday, well, actually, now it's Friday, it's tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Friday, fucking hell, it's a week, going quick. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But uh, other than that, enjoy your morning or your day or your evening if you're watching it now and it's sort of like tonight. Or if it's in the future, hello to you in the future. If you're in the future, tomorrow, next week, next month, or even. 50 years from now and you're watching me waffle on about complete bollocks you are sad but i hope i made you laugh at some point or other so i'll see you later have a good day bye